14 years ago, I made the mistake of accepting this cat into our lives. Now, while he's not nearly as evil as the cat in Do Not Take This Cat Home, he's an asshole. So, I, I can relate. Anyway, last time in this game, we found ending zero, ending question mark, ending 19, and ending 22. We're going to search for some more endings. I would like to go through the rest of the daily activities that also was this carnival and maze thing, but see what other options there were. Let's hit continue and see where we go. You're walking. Right, of course. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. And you're actually glad that you did. The weather is absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. You tentatively allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Maybe even who you could meet. You're so deep in thought that you almost miss it. Huh? What was that? Curiously guiding your steps, you follow the sound to the entrance of a lonely alleyway. The sunlight is only just manages to reach down between the tall buildings on either side. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward, the loose gravel and scattered debris on the ground softening your steps. Meow. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the warm, almost ethereal light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is a cat. Oh, we've seen this cat before. It's killed us a few times. It's great. Huh. Guess that should have been obvious. No. Interesting looking cat. Pretty yellow eyes. So we're going to skip all this and get to the first option. No. So. Uh, so what was the choices that we had before... Don't take the cat home. Um, let's do feed the cat this time. Cat must be hungry, right? Can't imagine that it's had much to eat if it's so attached to that box it's in. Though it doesn't exactly seem malnourished either. Surely it must have left the box to search for food then. For some reason, something in the back of your mind tells you that's not the case. And not to think on any further. Well, either way, you can't exactly enjoy your day out knowing you left behind a hungry cat, especially when you could have done something to help. So, what do you do about the hungry kitty? Uh, question mark? Not yet. What the hell? So, what about the hungry kitty? Ah. Check pockets. You dig into your pockets. Find a small piece of string in your left pocket. Not very helpful. A string is far too short. An eager and excited cat leaping for it would easily lead you to getting bitten and scratched. Your right pocket? A bar of chocolate. Find a chocolate bar? Is it? Nope. It's not even expired. Quite the find indeed. You're about to offer it to the cat, when suddenly you're hit with guilt as you remember something gut-curdling. Chocolate is toxic to cats. Oh my gosh, I am so... You resist the urge to vomit at your near mistake. Feel so guilty, you throw the chocolate bar away into a nearby trash bin. An almost cat killer doesn't deserve chocolate. You go back to the cat, barely able to stand its innocently oblivious expression. doesn't even know that you almost I am so sorry I don't, I don't even know what to say you're a horrible person you, you know what stay stay there I'll be right back you leave the alley and return to the whole fish you bought at a nearby grocery shop it was a bit pricey but it was the least you could do yo 
The cat eagerly accepts your offering, munching happily at the fish after you'd placed it in the box. <coughs> Meow. You want to smile at the sight, but you just feel so... awful. Sorry again. The cat seemingly pays you no mind as you slip back out of the alley. Not feeling like you deserve a peaceful day out, you decide to just head back home. <coughs> cat. On the way home, you notice more cats than usual watching you from their hiding spots. But you try not to think about it. Can't help but wonder if they know what you'd nearly done. But it's not like you meant to hurt anyone. Right? That's creepy. You finally reach your apartment building. You're about to unlock the door when... Oh dear sweet Jesus. <laughs> the hell? You look behind you, only to see dozens of cats standing there, looking at you. Did they see you feeding the cat in the alley and thought that you had more food for all of them? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have any more food for you. None of them move an inch. You're starting to feel a little unnerved when finally a single cat pushes its way to the front. And... Oh, it's... Oh. It's... Held carefully between its teeth is the chocolate bar you'd thrown away earlier. It places the chocolate bar down in front of it before looking back up at you. All the cats looking up at you. You can feel their judgment. You feel your sins weighing down heavily on your back, but without the money to buy enough food for all of them, you don't know what to do. Beg for forgiveness. You collapse on your knees and bow d down low as you start to earnestly beg for their forgiveness. I'm so sorry, I swear. I'd do anything to make it up to all of you, but you're out of options. Suddenly, choke. You feel something stir in your stomach as it swims its way up your throat, closing off your airway as it tries to force its way out of your esophagus. <laughs> Finally succeeds with aid from your helpless gagging. What the? Lying on the ground in front of you. It's a flopping fish. You just threw up a living fish. What the hell? Cats come rushing forward, all tearing hungrily at the fish. You're happy to finally be of help, truly. But how? <laughs> you throw up another fish. And another. And another. And another. Your stomach hurts. You're getting dizzy. You fall to your knees. Tears and snot are streaming down your face by the time you cough up a final tiny bloody fish and collapse forward. Your throat and stomach both burn in a way that feels dangerous. You start to fade out. Despite the pain, you strangely feel more overwhelming sense of hopeful pride that you made up for your disgusting actions. That you've been forgiven. The sound of happy cats munching away at the, their fish fills you, your ears. Then... You feel something being nudged into your hand. It feels like... It's the chocolate bar you found in your pocket. Huh. <laughs> you smile weakly. You've successfully atoned, but you don't really have the strength to eat your reward. Sadly, the last taste in your mouth as you leave this mortal coil doesn't get to be that of chocolate, but raw fish. 
ending 24. Fishing for pardon. That was weird. <laughs> Silly you. Chocolate is bad for cats. But you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> so this time, do not take cat home. As cute as the cat is. Never let this thing home with you. So this time, did we... Okay, the one that led us to doing the thing at the carnival was leaving the cat and then actually leaving, right? So on, what is on second thought? You're not ready? Ah, so that's another option. So we did feed the cat. Let's do play with cat. Do, have we done that yet? You just want a little attention, don't you? Poor thing must be bored sitting in that box all day. You're not sure you're much an interesting companion, but you're willing to do your best. There's got to be something to entertain the little critter with. But what? Uh, check pockets. You dig into your pockets. You got a string. In your right pocket. A bar of chocolate. I'm sorry. 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 That's not too helpful either right now. Only other thing you got on you is your phone. Not much of anything a cat can play with, but there is something you can do. You took a pictures. Photo montage. Well, that was fun, right? Well, you enjoyed yourself. Nothing else to do and no intention of taking the cat home. You say it's probably best to just leave. You don't want the cat to get too attached, after all. At least you'll have some memories to take with you. Hey, um, see you around, I guess? Good luck? Okay. Beep. Oh, shit. Huh? Your phone just got a message. You open up and... What? Aren't I cute? It's a picture of a familiar-looking cat. Cat does look cute and happier in that picture, but it's not a picture you recognize. The heck? Did I? You didn't take this picture. You peek over your shoulder at the cat, but the cat is simply looking at you. It mews sadly, as if pleading for you to come back. I gotta get the hell out of here. You ignore the cat and briskly walk out of the alleyway without another look. Whew. That was weird. You're a good distance away beep, when... Beep. Not again. You reluctantly look at the new message and... Don't ignore me. Creeped out, you decide to just go home. Beep. I know you're seeing these. Beep. Come back. Beep. Oh dear, sweet Jesus. Beep. Come back. Beep. Oh crap. Beep. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That is terrifying. Beep. Beep. Come back. Beep. Beep. Oh my. Oh, there it goes. Beep. I can see you. Beep. I can always see you. You can't hide. I'll always find you. Your eyes dart around nervously, certain you're being followed. But there's nothing there. You're finally home, but you feel too shaken for any relief to calm you down. You rush to the bathroom and slam the door behind you. Everything's okay. This isn't real. It's just like a bad dream. Everything's okay. You fumble in the dark to try on the sink and splash your face with some cold water, hoping it'll calm your mind and stop the hallucinations. Because that's all they are, right? 
hallucinations. You're really regretting leaving home today. You must have been overworking yourself more than you realized. Yeah, that must be... New message. You jump as your phone alerts you to another mess yet another message received. Mm. Check the phone. With shaking hands, you look at your phone. Hi, friend. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> what? Startle you whirl around and indis instinctively jump back. You slip, smashing the back of your head in the bathroom mirror. You don't register the pain just yet, your eyes shifting wildly around the room. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. I can see the eyes. You feel dizzy. You dazedly feel the back of your head and examine your hand. Can't really see anything, but it feels warm and wet. Smell of copper fills the air. Dizziness overwhelms you and you collapse in the bathroom dials. Help. You reach for your phone to call an ambulance. Batteries are dead. Ending third read. Photo bomber. That was insane. That that's by far the coolest one I've seen so far. Let's keep going. Do probably one or two more. You're walking, skip. Do not take cat home. As cute as the cat is, you don't want to take the thing home with you. So we've done feed cat, play with cat. But we did we did one option of play with cat, but not the other. Let's do play with cat again. Uh, look around the area. You search around, but there's really nothing in the alley that looks interesting enough for the cat to play with. Maybe... How about a game? You decide on a game you've known since childhood. Red light, green light. A classic. Teaching a cat how to play might be a bit of a challenge. But you get the feeling this feline's natural hunting instincts will help it along. You walk to the entrance of the alley, the cat meowing at you. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. You exaggerate your movements, covering your eyes with your hands, and turn around. One, two, three. Red light. You spin around. The cat hasn't left the box, tilting its head at you in curious confusion. Keep playing. You try again. This time you go a bit slower. One. Two. Three. Red light. When you turn around this time, <gasps> the cat is out of the box. The cat freezes under your stare as if it thinks you can't see it if it doesn't move. So cute. Satisfied with the cat getting the hang of the game, you turn it again, speeding back up. One, two, three, red light. You turn around. Cat is a few steps away from the box now, peeking out from behind a dumpster. Its eyes trained on its eyes trained rather intensely on you. Well, at least it's having fun. You turn again, and feel a sudden chill run down your spine. You feel silly, but you can't help counting a little faster this time. One, two, three, red light! Whirling around after, you say, after saying red light, you look at the cat. <laughs> it's halfway down the alley closer to you now, but it's as if the perspective of what you're seeing is off somehow. Doesn't the cat look a little bigger? Your, its pupils are thin slits now. Something, something's not right. Cat meows at you again, but it sounds much deeper than earlier. It's crouched down as if poised to lunge forward. Your breath shudders a little as your heart starts to race. Your foot instinctively shifts back. 
Oh, fuck. You freeze immediately. Cat looks impatient. It wants you to keep playing, but you gulp and turn around, swiftly counting and turning again as you gasp out. Ground shakes as you roll back around. Find yourself staring at a long surface of black fur. You slowly look up and up and up. You see a giant shadowy figure leering around from its position hunched over you. Oh my god. Is this the big thing that was behind us in that that first ending? Fangs dripping with saliva. Claws crushing into the concrete walls of the alley. Its glowing eyes are unblinking as they look back at you. The cat waiting for your next turn. But it's so close. If you turn around now, you won't want to play anymore. You don't want to play anymore. Back up. Keeping your eyes trained on the giant looming over you, you take a step back. No. That's cheating. Oh. What is this? Registration complete. Back up. What are you doing? Stop. You'll break everything. The cat stares at you as you keep eye contact and back up. You step back and back. And as you take one more step back out of the alley, go home. Error. Error. Oh, that's so cool. The world outside the alley seems to be broken. What exactly did you do? Ending 33, error found. Ah, that was so cool. We have so many endings to do. Okay, so we're going to skip that. Do not take cat home. Um, so should we do the other option for play, the play with the cat thing? Um, let's do... I want to see what happens if you just run. Keep playing. Okay, here we go. So we tried back up. Let's do run. Don't even finish turning around before the claw grips your torso, digging in and piercing the soft flesh of your stomach with ease. You're lifted into the drooling, gaping jaws above you. You can't help but think that there must have been another way out of this, but pointless regrets are pretty typical for you, aren't they? Ending 32, Fear Quitter. Okay, that was a good one. So let's skip. Do not take. Uh, play with cat. Um, look around the area. Try something else. Maybe a concept is too advanced for a cat after all. It's okay. We'll think of something else to do. Buy a toy. After being in the, out in this alley all alone for who knows how long, you personally think your furry friend deserves something special. I'll be right back, okay? <coughs> Quickly leave the alley and rush to the nearby pet store. Browse through all the different toys for cats. There's so many to choose from. Plush and bright colored and scented with catnip. But you realize most of the toys aren't meant for a cat to play with alone. You can't stay in the alley playing forever. You can't exactly afford to get another cat as a playmate. 
another. That's it. You know exactly what to get now. After a quick and successful search of the store, you make your purchase, run back to the alley, eager to show off your find. I'm back. Allie feels even gloomier after spending time in direct sunlight. Makes you feel that much prouder of your gift. You skip over to the cat and dig in the store's plastic bag. I've got something for you. Cat leans up, curious of the bag's contents. You pull out your gift to the cat. Ta-da! It's a small cat plushie. The plushie is a light orange cream color with burnt sepia stripes, making it resemble a tabby cat. Synthetic fur is soft, but not unrealistically so. And the large eyes are a pale green more subdued than you would have expected for a toy. There's no denying it's just a plushie, but the thoughtful details still make it almost uncanny to the real thing. Which makes it perfect. A companion for the cat, and one you could actually afford. Win-win. That's not all. Give the plushie a little squeeze and it hit meows. The cat looks unimpressed. Well, you think it's cute. Guess your purchase wasn't so successful after all. Out of options and lower on cash, you awkwardly place the plushie in the box next to the cat. You get up and turn to leave. You're a few steps away when you hear an electronic meow behind you. Huh? Turn to see the plushie on the ground next to the box. The cat is watching you closely, staring. Uh, pick up the plushie. You sigh and go over to pick up the stuffed toy. You really do just want attention, don't you? You hold up the doll, examining it a little. Looks a little... different? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Did it just look yeah. at you? Oh, chomp. That was terrifying. Plus, she somehow opens its sewn on mouth before biting into your wrist. Ow, stop. You try to fling it off, but its grip on you is strong as it drinks your blood, ravenous and frantic. You hit it against the concrete walls of the alley. Try to tear its sturdy fabric. But try as you might, you can't seem to hurt it or make it stop. It's just a toy after all. Eventually you start to feel faint. Enough to collapse to your knees in defeat. The stuffed doll is drinking more calmly now. As if its previous aggression had been a mere reaction to your desperation. It seems satisfied you're no longer putting up a fight. You think you blacked out for a second. Because you're still sitting the next time you're conscious, your eyes are closed. You feel so weak. You have to use all your strength just to pry open your eyes and when you do. You see a kitten? It's fur, a familiar orange cream with burnt sepia stripes. Lapping at your wrist. The kitten lifts its head and looks at you with piercing pale green eyes. It mews at you with a high, squeaky pitch, mouth covered in blood. It'd be downright adorable if you weren't about to die from blood loss. The cat strolls into your line of vision and picks the kitten up. It gives you an indecipherable look before turning away. The cat carries the kitten back to the box and starts to carefully and dutifully clean it. You sway and find you can't right yourself before falling to the ground. It would seem that, in the end, you'd gotten the cat a playmate after all. Ending 34, Living Doll! Nice! So, I think we're gonna leave this episode here for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying this game, leave a like, 
share it with a friend. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if this is the first that you've seen of this game, go check out the first episode of this playthrough. And I'll see you guys next time.